Now let's talk about Britain duopoly model with identical goods and same marginal costs. Okay, in the earlier two videos, I explained about the Corno model and the Stakelberg, you know, duopoly model. The difference between Britain model and other oligopoly models is of the price. That means in case of Britain duopoly, firms compete in terms of price and in other oligopoly models like the Corno and the Stekelberg, uh, you know, model, firms were competing with each other in terms of quantity. But in case of Britain model, firms are, you know, competing in terms of price. And the intuition uh, between, uh, is simple, pretty simple. Whosoever sets the lowest uh, price, okay, if we have two firms and one firm sets the lowest price, that means that very firm will capture all the market, okay? The firm uh, which sets the lowest price captures all the market and another firm gets, you know, nothing of the market share, okay? This is sim pretty simple. So we are, uh, let us say we are being given the market demand function is P is equal to 60 minus 2Q. Q is the total output, P is the price. And total output will be equal to the output of firm 1 plus output of firm 2nd. And we have marginal cost. That means marginal cost of firm 1 is equal to 10. Marginal cost of firm 2nd is also equal to 10. We have the same, you know, identical marginal cost. Okay. As I have told you, firms compete in terms of price in case of uh, Britain duopoly model. Let us say uh, firm 1 sets a price which is less than the price set by the firm 2. If P1 is less than P2, that means all the market will be captured by firm 1. Okay, that means Q1 will be equal to Q. And firm 2 will get 0 units of this market. Okay. Similarly, if price set by firm 1 is greater than the price set by firm 2. In this case, since uh, firm 2 is setting the lowest price, price he will capture all the market that means q2 will be equal to q and firm one will get you know zero uh, share of the market and if price set by firm one is equal to price set by firm second then the market will be split uh, between the two firms that means output of firm one will be equal to output of firm second which will be equal to total output upon two that means each will get half of the market share that means and the only uh, you know equilibrium condition will be that price should be equal to the marginal cost okay how do we explain this thing the equilibrium condition is that price is equal to marginal cost when we have identical goods and same marginal costs of built on duopoly okay i'm saying price is equal to marginal cost how can we explain it it okay so let us say we have let us say firm 2 uh, to explain this let us say firm 2 sets a price let us say firm 2 sets a price of uh, let us say 15 dollars if firm 2 sets a price of 15 dollars which is above above the marginal cost obviously because marginal cost is only 10 okay firm 1 can do one thing he can set a price which is slightly below this 15 okay let's say it uh, um, sets a price of 14.9 okay since price set by firm 1 is less than the price set by firm 2 that means this firm will firm 1 will capture all the market okay and firm 2 will get zero market why as i told you the firm which sets the lowest price captures all the market Firm 2 has set a price which is above the marginal cost uh, of $15. Firm 1 can do one thing. He can slightly set a price which is less than 15 and capture all the market because P1 is less than P2. And same is true for, you know, if, let us say, if uh, firm, uh, let us say, firm 1 sets a price, let us say it uh, sets a price of 12, which is again, you know, uh, above the marginal cost in this case firm 2 can do one thing he can set a price which is slightly below the price set by firm 1 
let us say 11.9 in this case firm 2 will get all the market share and firm 1 will get nothing of the market share okay <clears throat> so in this process their prices are you know gonna undercut each other until the prices are equal to the marginal cost okay so uh, they will you know set and the equilibrium will be achieved at a point where price is equal to marginal cost there will be price war until they reach a position where price is equal to marginal cost okay so let's try to explain how to reach the equilibrium now okay as we have told you price is equal to marginal cost okay since marginal cost is same i can write it like this which is equal to 10 which is being given us here okay and what is p p is being given us uh, 60 minus 2q okay okay so p is equal to 60 minus 2q and p is also equal to 10 let us or rather let me write it here uh, something like this so p in place of p we have 10 okay 10 is equal to uh, 60 minus 2q that means 2q is equal to 60 minus 10 which comes out to be 50 which implies q is equal to 50 upon 2 which is 25 that means total output produced in this market will be 25 and the equilibrium condition as i have told you price is equal to marginal cost that means output produced by firm 1 will be equal to output produced by firm 2 that means they will split the market which is equal to q upon 2 in this case which is 25 upon 2 which comes out to be 12.5 that means uh, each firm will produce an output of 12.5 okay and what will be the market price then so market price will be equal to 60 obviously price market price is equal to marginal cost that means p is equal to 10 that means price is equal to 10 and we can also uh, calculate this if i just plug the value of q1 and q2 back into the price you know inverse demand function to get this market demand price let us say p is equal to so we have say 60 and the total output produced is you know 2 into 25 okay 2q is 25 which will again give us so 60 minus 50 is 10 okay so equilibrium market price will be you know price is equal to marginal cost and output will be split between the two firms i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe this channel like comment and share also thank you